We're at Petersham Nurseries today and we're here to discover the perfect Italian pear, balsamic vinegar and parmesan cheese. Today's dish was inspired by uh, the, the heritage of, of staying true to, to, to our ingredients, the beauty of the parmesan and therefore like the simplicity of everything that goes with it. It's just spring vegetables, the three ages of parmesan, the, the, the 48 month in, inside a little twill with a little bit of fennel, uh, and poppy seed. Then there's a little fried polenta ball with a 36 month, and then just the 24 month shaved on top. And that's it. And the 25 year old balsam. Well, recently I went to Bologna, um, so I tried lots of parmesan and balsamic vinegar there. So I loved trying it all again and bringing back all those memories. The same cheese as a 24 month old parmesan, but in three different preparations. So I've got a soft terrine to speak with milk and a bit of a garlic. Crispy parmesan, just parmesan cooked in the oven, and then uh, <clears throat> you've got the oil. The oil is, becomes a powder, so it's an infusion of oil and parmesan with the maltodextrin. It becomes a powder. is on the top. It goes with asparagus, herbs, springtime herbs, and flowers, and uh, also balsamic vinegar. And I especially enjoyed the um, starter with like beautiful flowers all over it. It was so colourful, and we're in this gorgeous setting of Pisham Nurseries. Family tradition, real tradition, is the cappelletti in Brodo, in my area they call anolini. This pasta was springtime in a bowl. At the end you've got the same taste of a meat brought by his vegetarian. Really interested that the brodo wasn't actually meat based because there are vegetarians here today. Um, so it was actually mushroom and a vegetarian based brodo. But it was really meaty and really rich. And if they hadn't told me that, I don't think I would have known the difference. A lamb cutlet, little herb crumb, parsley, rosemary. It's a 36 month parmesan through the herb crumb. Uh, and then uh, the tomato sauce, a little bit of anchovy, fennel, chili, uh, some kimoni tomatoes. That's it, a little bit of chart from our farm. The production can be made only in the province of Modena. The province of Modena, you know, maybe the province, provinces are little pieces of a region. So there is uh, Parma, uh, Reggio Emilia, Bologna and so on. And there is also Modena. The food was excellent, especially the dessert, which was rich and sweet, but also kind of spicy as well. So really lovely and a really great day. The people wake up with the purpose. Try to make the best Parmigiano Reggiano they can. Try to preserve the milk as long as possible. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you.